What's up everyone, welcome to Fortnite, or I guess welcome back to Fortnite. This channel used to be a Fortnite channel. I used to stream Fortnite every single day for about two to three hours every day. The passion and the love that I had for this game was unrivaled. It was basically my main game for almost a full year. I have over like 400 hours of playtime while basically having a full-time job. So that is very impressive numbers. I remember grinding every single season to level 100 to get the best and the coolest skin available on Fortnite. And the game got really sweaty with basically Tifu, Ninja and all of the Twitch streamers and the YouTubers. They basically have killed the game for me. Every single game was very sweaty and I didn't enjoy build battle 24-7. These people used to practice building and shooting and stuff like that. They took the game way too seriously thanks to the Fortnite World Cup with 3.5 million reward. A lot of people took Fortnite way too seriously and it just it made the game less fun I felt like I was going against like a full-time job, you know, like these people, their job is like to get wins and to get, you know, kills and stuff like that. So kind of made the game unfun for me. And also the skins were getting worse and worse and worse every single patch and the balance they used to nerf and buff weapons it didn't feel like a fun game for me to play it anymore i always said that this game needed a skill piece matchmaking because like i have a 0.5 kd and i don't want to go against an 8 kd player that is just unfair in my opinion especially like in a game like fort where skills actually matters so that was my main reason for stopping playing uh, Fortnite. Then fast forward to 2022, they have added the no build game mode. The no build game mode was really fun. For the first time ever, I don't have to build and I truly believe that they added kill based matchmaking into Fortnite as well because I have a, a really bad KD. I've been matchmaking with players with a similar KD to mine so, so I've been having the time of my life. I'm not winning every single match but I'm not losing every single match either you know it's a fair match for the first time you know i have a very realistic chance of winning that number one i don't have to build and number two the players that i'm playing against they are on a similar skill level so me and the enemy team could have a fair competition so that made the game so much more fun to me finally i got wins i got double kills it's been so much fun like i lost a lot I won a lot, you know, it's been a really fun competitive match. And the plus of that, the season three, chapter three skins were amazing. They are probably one of my favorite skins. And I got back into Fortnite. I grinded to level 180. 180. I'm pretty sure that I played a lot of Fortnite. And as you can see from basically the gameplay, I've been grinding, grinding, and I've been having so much fun with friends and strangers online and random. It's been a lot of fun, honestly. But after I reached level 180, I just kind of stopped playing because there is no reason for me to play, honestly. Because I already got every single skin, I already got my V-Pucks back, I already finished the battle pass, I already have the Dark Vader skin. Now what, you know? Fortnite kind of kind of lost its touch for me, you know? Like, the gamers always want to reach a goal, you know? Like an RPG, like you want to reach max level. You want to max out your level weapon. You want to level up your artifacts, your talents, your stuff like like that you always want to grind to reach a goal and for me on Fortnite that was completing the battle pass and getting all of the extra recolors skins and I already accomplished that and after that the game just felt hollow to me I just stopped playing it <laughs> I just waited for season 4 so I can have more content to grind for. I can get the value out of my playtime. What went wrong? Season 3, chapter 4, 
or maybe chapter 4 season 3 I'm not sure the skins are really bad I don't like them I don't enjoy them the only decent skin is the level 100 when from spider-man but at the same time they really want me to grind the level 100 for only one decent skin that was just nah man that was like no i'm not doing that i played a couple of matches of the new season they have of course it changed up the map a little bit they have removed some, some basically location they have added in new locations and overall i like the map i like the changes but at the same time it kind of felt hollow it kind of felt meaningless to play this game you know i felt like i'm wasting my time playing fortnite honestly because i'm not working toward a goal i'm not as long as i don't feel like i'm spending my time valuably i'm not gonna spend my time playing your game if that make any sense it's Especially speaking, if, if it's basically a game like Fortnite. A game like Fortnite is never ending. There is no ending to Fortnite. You could play it for the rest of your life and you wouldn't be able to finish. You understand me, you know? There is no reason, there is no point on playing Fortnite except if you're working toward a goal like uh, collecting every single skin maybe like uh, I don't know going up for the number one player in the entire world like you need a goal and I lost my goal because the skins on this recent season are just bad and I don't feel like I want to trade my time for a single skin I just don't like that I just and the skins I mean what what were they thinking? I am pretty sure that somebody out there enjoys this skins, but it's just it not it's not me, you know. You know, the skins, it's not me, the season, it's for it's not for me. So yeah, I just deleted Fortnite one hour ago to free up spaces to install new games, you know? Like if I'm not playing Fortnite, why should I have it installed, you know? So this is me taking a break from Fortnite for at least two to three months. It's not because Fortnite is a bad game. Fortnite is a really good game, but it's just it got no goals. It got no meaning. And of course you could say like, oh, just play it to have fun. And that's true. But for me, fun is subject. Some people like it to win. For me, I'm kind of a collector. I like to see progress in my life on the game accounts i don't feel like i'm moving forward playing fortnite you know like in the previous season every single match i won every single w i got i was getting rewarded with more xp you know like completing challenges and trials these moved me closer to my goal and reaching the level 100 but now you know the the skins are kind of bad so i don't want to repeat myself but yeah felt meaningless to play this game so that's why i am stopping playing this game but at the same time I had over 50 gigs of footage on my hard drive and these footage are precious memories of me playing with friends and strangers and randoms and good people in discord and twitter and some youtube subscribers as well and instagram followers it's a footage of me and my subscribers playing together and I don't want to delete these footage. These are some really precious memories for me and probably for them because gaming online, it's all about, you know, friendship and socializing. And I think it's gonna be a huge waste if I deleted this footage. So I decided to upload it here on the YouTube channel, just like to talk a little bit and, you know, to explain my mindset and stuff like that. So these are the Fortnite story, you know, the skill gap, the skill skins the account progress and everything i really hope that the next season of fortnite is going up much better than the current one that we are having right now that was everything that i wanted to say about fortnite let me know what you think down in the comment section do you still play fortnite did you quit playing fortnite i will be very happy to read the comments i always read the comments and i always reply and who knows, you might be featured on my next YouTube video. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, later.